I've watched my son on the computer. Facebook, MySpace. I am on the computer a lot, talking to my friends. I like to look up articles on Wikipedia and just read. And cell phones always like attached to my hip, texting and calling people. They like technology. They were born with it. They can't live without it. They feel empowered to use the technology and it's part of their everyday life. And unfortunately, schools have not changed much. The standards are the standards, and that's what the students have to meet. We know that there's a gap between how students are expected to work and learn in school environments, and then how they actually live outside of the classroom. I use technology more outside of school than I do inside of school. A textbook or a chalkboard, these are things that don't engage kids the way that it maybe did 20 or 30 years ago. Students are a very different student. The curriculum isn't going to change, it's the delivery that has to change. It's a real challenge for literally every educator at almost every grade level. What's it all about? I started to struggle with English, and then my dad found this thing online, and he said that I could do it. Did you know after completing a home run, even though the player has run a fair distance, his displacement is still zero? I found out about the online course in uh, Michigan Virtual High School through my principal. What comes of all this knowledge anyway? That first day, got onto line, I could hear him in the other room saying, wow, mom, I like this one, this is my favorite. Genes are made of DNA, which stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. I learned and learned, and so when I took the post-test, I, I knew everything like that. We're giving a young person an opportunity to learn how to learn in a completely different environment. That oxygen gives us energy by reacting with glucose in our liver. I thought taking the class online was a good experience. I think it's a good way to learn, and you can do it on your own time, which makes it easier. It was very, a very comfortable schedule because I was able to manage my own time with it instead of having to worry about going to class at a certain time. How can you not adapt it? There are a lot of ways that we can um, offer content to our students and evaluate their learning. We communicate through uh, email. We communicate through the message boards, the discussion boards on the course. We took a couple tests through like a voice chat system. To talk to each other with our teacher. She'll just ask us questions and we'll answer them in Chinese. Ni hao and gaoxing ranchini. We're starting to introduce uh, wikis and uh, blogs. They're talking about something other than what they did today. They're talking about math in the online environment. I learned something today. We can offer content in the form of RSS feeds, which provides up-to-date information for them. Uh, we can attach documents, um, videos, pictures, a lot of different types of instruction. And I stayed on task with it all. I actually turned it on my assignments like a month before they were even all due. What I liked about working at home in a computer is that if you were to miss class, you wouldn't miss out on learning something. It teaches you to be responsible and to stay on task. Students came initially to Hustle and Techno. We literally went out onto the streets and recruited them. I saw a kid who I thought was 16 and 19, I went, are you in school? And if they said no, well, you are now. Drop-offs really are not remedial. I would say a lot of them are really borderlining the genius level. One of the reasons why they're dropping out is because they're bored stiff. They've gotten really good at circumventing traditional education. Really, once you engage them and show them that they have this big old world out there and that the key to it is technology, they go for it. Online students oftentimes are looking to meet a need that has not been met in the traditional classroom. Coming from a really small school, you don't really have too many opportunities to take what you're necessarily interested in. Usually I'm a fast worker and other, we have to wait for other people in the classroom, so I can do my own speed and do my own time. You feel like you're getting it more and you don't have as much interruptions. It was just really comfortable to have that aspect to the education. I was just so busy with organizing prom, organizing senior year, class trip, that um, VHS gave me time to do that. When I get back to school, it'll be a little easier because I will have done all the math that I needed to do in fifth grade. I think after they put themselves out there in the online environment, that even in a classroom, they would be more willing to ask some of those questions. Welcome to this online professional development course. I was talking about Michigan LearnPort to my superintendents in my county. 
Teachers will learn how to teach challenging concepts based on the Michigan Merit Curriculum content expectations for Algebra 1. One of the greatest advantages to the online learning is the freedom it gives them to fit in their own window of time to do the, the studying or reviewing of materials. Our ultimate goal in teaching mathematics is for students to acquire transferable knowledge. This is a no-brainer, you guys. This is free professional development that is meaningful. And the savings in cost, traveling great distances across the state to meet professional growth requirements. It has every curriculum that you could want professional development for. Success for all students should be the end result. Education has to provide the what's next. And what online learning does, it provides them with the what next. So you don't hold a student back, you give them a hands-on experience, and then they can now learn to teach themselves, which is the whole concept of education. The fact of the matter is, the technology is not going away. It's becoming cheaper. Uh, it's becoming more powerful. This is not a fad that we're dealing with. This is life as we know it as we go forward.